Today we're going to show you the common anions in the salt lab. In this lab, you're going to be performing tests on known anions and recording the observations. These observations are going to help you in the identification of an unknown anion, which will be given at the end of the lab. To begin, you perform the silver and barium group tests. What these tests do is they eliminate certain anions from your selected pool, and because only certain anions will precipitate with the barium and silver. What I'm going to show you now is the barium group test. Now what you want to do is you're going to add five drops of your anion to a test tube already full of a mill of water, which is approximately an eighth of the test tube. So you're going to make sure that you dissolve your anion in water for every test. So you're going to add five drops. And then we want to make it basic, so you're going to add ammonium to the solution. So you know it's basic with litmus paper, which will be a blue color. Next, you're going to add two drops of barium chloride. And then two more. And you should record these observations in your notebook. Now with your precipitate from the barium control test, um, you're going to add hydrochloric acid until your solution is acidic to litmus paper. And then you're going to look to see if your precipitate has dissolved or not. Record this in your notebook. What I'm going to show you now is the silver group test. What you're going to do is take five drops of your anion, place it in a test tube. Next, you're going to take two drops of silver nitrate. that in the test tube. Both those solutions are already made for you. And you bring this solution over to the center fuse. Make sure that you partner up with the buddy as I have this test tube right here so the center fuse is balanced correctly. And run it. When you're done centrifuging, you're going to take it out and you should, su should see a pellet formed. You're going to discard the supernatant and add five drops of water and then centrifuge again. Now after centrifuging for the second time, you're going to discard the supernatant again and then add two drops of nitric acid. You want to record these observations in your notebook. This first anion test will test for the presence of sulfate. Now to your test solution, you're going to add hydrochloric acid until it is basic, or acidic I should say, acidic, sorry. like so. And then you're going to add barium chloride, approximately a mil, you get a precipitate to form. Now for the sulfite test, you can take your test tube from the sulfate test and you should not have gotten a precipitate uh, if sulfide is present. 
you are going to reacidify your test tube with more hydrochloric acid. And then you're going to add bromine water. And if sulfite is present, you should be able to see another precipitate form.